Hello everyone, this is Ashijan. In this lecture video, we will discuss about loan sheet. Loan sheet means if any person taking loan, any kind of loan, it might be home loan, car loan, personal loan, education loan. So what would be the actual amount of EMI? And you know very well that EMI that is equal monthly in installment how to calculate that is totally based on number of period that means for how many for how much period the loan has been taken then what is the amount of loan that has been taken that means what what is the principal amount and then emi is obviously based on the rate of interest right that means emi is basically dependent on the loan sanctioned by the bank that means how much amount of loan had been taken by the borrower then for how many periods the loan has been taken and then the rate of interest right so let's read question, question number one borrowed a loan of rupees 10 lakh for a period of five years to be repaid in equated quarterly installments at the rate of 15 percent you are required to prepare loan repayment schedule see the loan has been taken for rupees 10 lakh for a period of 5 years and the loan is to be repaid in equated quarterly it is given that is the loan is to be repaid quarterly right so that means the emi would be calculated on the basis of quarter basis that means EMI basically debiting from the bank on a, on every quarter, right? Not monthly wise, it is quarterly wise. So let's make a loan sheet as per this question. So what is given? That is amount of loan. Amount of loan is given to us. Then. Uh, periodicity that is on quarterly basis then years then obviously the rate of interest and then amount of installments right So what is the amount of loan that is 10 lakh right periodicity quarterly that is 4 that means there are basically 4 quarters in a year then for how many years the loan would be would, uh, the loan has been taken for how much period that is 5 years rate of interest is that is 15% amount of installment that we need to calculate right means these four things we have given that means the amount of loan that is had which taken that is rupees 10 lakh then the repayment of loan that is on quarterly basis the loan has been taken for a period of five years and the emi or you can say the interest would be calculated as per the five percent per annum right now we need to calculate the what would be the amount of installment quarterly basis that means in every quarter how much amount of installment would be paid by borrower right so how do we calculate that is equal to pmt equals to pmt in bracket open and just read these just read these values very carefully PMT first they have they are asking to the rate that means what would be the rate that is 15 percent 15 percent but this rate of interest is on 15 percent per annum so we need to divide as per quarterly wise so rate would be 15 percent divided by 4 means we need to calculate the rate quarterly wise that means the rate per quarter 
right then comma what is written that is npr that is the number of periods number of periods that means for how many total number of periods are there so emi is basically paying as per quarterly basis for how much years that is 5 years so that means total number of period would be this b2 that is quarterly basis multiply by 5 that is 20 so total number of period would be what 20 that means for uh, that means emi would be paid in 20 equal quarterly basis right then put comma now they are asking for pv that is pv stands for present value not future value it is present value so how do we calculate what is the uh, present value present value means that is the amount of loan taken by the borrower that is of rupees 10 lakh but one thing that you need to remember here they are asking for the present value they are asking for the present value so that means this amount would be in negative this amount would be negative how just uh, give me some more minutes i will clarify this point so this is the present value now just close the bracket and just press enter So this is the amount of installment that is 71,962.1 that means this much amount of installment would be paid by the borrower on quarterly basis at the rate 15% per annum right now let's discuss about this that is why I, I, I have taken the negative sign here that is minus v1 see they are asking for the pre, uh, present value see let me clarify this point suppose if you invest 1 lakh suppose in any investment revenue and uh, suppose after 5 year you are getting suppose rupees 2 lakh suppose rupees 2 lakh that is double you are getting suppose you have invested in suppose in shares right so that means uh, uh, if i calculate the rate that is at the rate of 25 percent per annum you are getting the interest that means uh, if you put amount if you put this much amount today you will get 2 lakh rupees you will get 2 rupees after 3 years right so this is the present value and this is the future value this is the present value and this is the future value so obviously uh, the present value is less than the future value or you can say the future value is always the is always more than the uh, present value right uh, the, the condition is that you, some, you are getting some interest if you are getting some negative interest obviously the future value would be less than the present value right i am just taking the hypothetical example that you are getting some amount of interest or some amount of return right so that means if you if you are getting some amount of interest or return so that means your future value would be always more than the present value right so so if i tell you suppose if i write nothing here that means if you want to if you want to earn rupees rupees of 1 lakh if you want to earn rupees of 1 lakh in 3 years and this is the future value so what would be the so what would be the present value that is equals to this is the future value and how much amount of interest or money you want to gain from the investment that is rupees 1 lakh so that means you need to put up this much amount to get this money so that's why this is the negative value so that's why i have put negative sign here right that's why i have put up negative sign here. so this is the Uh, this is the thing that I want to discuss with you that is why I am putting minus sign here that is the, the to calculate the, can say the difference between the future value and the present value right so this is the amount of installment but the question is not over yet 
they are asking for that you are required to prepare the loan repayment schedule that means in this sheet itself we need to calculate how much amount of installment that means what would be the amount of interest what would be the amount of interest including in this money so let's do this uh, make a column that is installments number then uh, opening balance interest installments closing balance right So how many instruments are there? That is uh, uh, 20, right? 1, 2, sorry. 1, 2, up to 20, up to 20. Total number of instruments are 20. Sir, how would you, how do you, did you get this 20? That is 4 multiplied by 5. Total number of instruments are 40 on quarterly basis. Opening balance amount that is equals to rupees this much amount is rupees 10 lakh, right? That is rupees 10 lakh. Then installment. First, let's discuss what would be the installment that is always equals to this value, always equals to this value, right? So, let's fix up this value by putting dollar sign. So that when we drag, uh, drag this value, this this value would remain same for 20 periods, All right? Now, what would be the interest? How do we calculate interest? Equals to interest would be calculated on the amount of loan sanctioned by the bank multiplied by the rate of interest that is 15%. But this this interest is on per annum. We need to calculate as per quarterly wise. So divided by four. Divided by four. That's it. So that is thirty seven five hundred is the amount of interest. Right. Now closing balance. What would be the closing balance? See the closing balance is that is the opening minus principal amount that you have already paid. Operating balance is that is the amount that you have taken minus the principal amount. So how would you calculate the principal amount? See, this is the installment amount. This is the interest amount. This is the installment amount, and this is the interest amount. So we will take the difference of this. We will get the principal amount, right? So how do we calculate the closing balance? E equals to ten lakh minus put bracket installment minus interest that's it so that is 9,65,537.9 is the amount of closing balance right now in the next the opening balance is that is equals to the closing balance of the previous period so equals to this simple right now uh, let's first make the interest so let's we need to put dollar sign to fix up this cell because b4 and b2 would remain same right so let's drag first this value up to 20 Oh, I think there is some mistake by me. Yeah, oh, sorry. No, that's no, okay. So, uh, 
okay so we need to drag up this value also up to 20 up to 20 and then drag this value also that's it let's uh, round up this value simple see so that means uh, after the last installment the closing balances that is given that means uh, we need to we need not to pay any any amount after 20 periods right so closing balance is zero this is the way of calculating the amount of interest installments and the closing balance right so this was the question number one i hope you have understood very well the next question we will do in the next natural video thank you